So Jacob, what is the objective of Uno? What's the goal? Uh, get rid of all your cards, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say when you've got one left? What's the Uno, classic? Yeah, Uno, exactly, Uno. Yeah. What would be Swedish for one? Uh, et. Et. So, and then M. Oh, it depends. You know, like, it's kind of like, what would I... Uh, a and N, like okay. when you um, you have a card, sure. you have an hour. That's mm -hmm. like N or okay, et. Yeah. It's and that's the way for numbers. In yeah. Swedish. Interesting. Yeah. Man, learning something new. Here. Yeah. So you start. Three seven. What are some of the popular like border card games in Sweden that you would play growing up? <sighs> Fratsu, What do you do? <laughs> yeah. um, no mercy. I don't know. I don't. I feel like we played that much many board cards when I, or board games when I was younger because uh, it was just a lot of you know sports. My brother and I both played hockey, soccer, and handball. It was a lot of sports, not a whole lot of board games. But I guess Monopoly maybe. Oh sure. Yeah, nice. and then just normal card games probably. Yeah, like what? What would be a normal card game you play? <sighs> I've forgotten all of them, but. Uh, <laughs> So do I, if I have the same, two of the same number, can I put both of them down or just no, one? No, just one at a time. Okay. It's that classic competitive nature. Just yeah. kind of, <laughs> get a little edge, well, a little bit here. Well, everyone plays with different rules, so <laughs> I, had to, I had to make sure. Dang, it's tough. Uno or S. <laughs> sure, but when we play Uno, correct. we yeah. say Uno it's too. <laughs> Oh, that's tough. <laughs> good all game. right, good game. That's yeah. all right. Your dad, right? He was a goalie coach. Yep. Too, and kind of got into that. Yeah. Did he play? What was he his... did play when he was younger, but he never really like played at any high level or anything. Sure. And he wasn't a goalie either. It was more like when I became a goalie, he kind of got into that and you know wanted to be able to support me. What made you decide that position was the one for you? I was super competitive and hard on myself when I was a skater, so I was always like super grumpy and like I was never happy even though I had good games. So one day our goalie got sick and so I, I tried out to be a goalie because we needed one and I just kind of fell in love with it from the first practice and then ever since I've you know, been a goalie. What's the best thing about being a goalie? Uno. Um, oh! I think, I think it's just you always have the, the ability and the opportunity to be a game decider, you know. It's like a lot of pressure because if you lose and it's it's, I mean, sometimes it's on you, but if you win, it's sometimes it's because of you. So I, th I feel like that always being able to um, impact a game is like, that's probably the main thing. Yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> one, one. Well done. That's that two. We got, we got a two out of three yeah, now, really quick, really quick. Obviously you gotta be competitive to be a D1 athlete. Does that carry over to things like this? Are you kind of competitive uh, in everything? I think so, yes. <laughs> I don't know if I, I want to admit it, but yeah, it can, I can get pretty heated sometimes. Even silly things. Like when we play sewer ball before games, I can get pretty heated. Okay. All right, I'm gonna say blue. Okay. <laughs> All the cards. So much for one more quick game. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, I did five. Oh no. No. I definitely played myself there. <laughs> oh, no. Green. Okay, this is going to be it. Yeah. <laughs> nice job. Thank you.